thousands of Christians from across all denominations turn out to grace the grand reception in honor of the 13th President of the Lutheran World Federation, Most Reverend Dr. Musa Philippus Panti, the second African and the first Nigerian ever to hold the exalted position. At the event, Vice President Emi Oshibajo, who congratulated Dr. Panti, described the celebrant's elevation as an important one not only to the black race, but Africa and the world in general. He said the honor which portrays God's love for Adama and indeed Nigeria must be reciprocated by the citizens through the show of love for one another devoid of any form of religious or ethnic sentiment. The vice president who quoted Matthew 5 verses 43 and 44 which encourages love between neighbors. And to those who have urged revenge, the answer that our faith gives is, is and I quote, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. We have no authority from our God, no authority from the Lord Jesus Christ to take revenge. He says that vengeance is here. It's the word of God that says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have a time life. Governor Muhammad Umar Jibrila in a remark appreciated God for favoring President Muhammad Buhari who exhibited serious commitment along with the Nigerian army to ensure peace return to the hitherto conflict within the Northeast and call on Nigerians to continue to pray for him and all those in authority. Today, Jagabar, I want to tell you, not only Adam our state, including Borno state, there is no one single local government that is occupied by Boko Haram. This is simply because of the dedication of our president, the commitment of this government to fight the insurgency. We must continue to pray for President Muhammad Buhari. His plateau state counterpart, Governor Simon Lalong, who also joined Governor Jibrila to praise God for blessing Adamo State with an upright personality in the like of Most Reverend Musa Philippus Banti as the president of the Lutheran Federation, appreciated God for giving him the wisdom to control plateau from an outburst of conflict. Recently, Chairman of the Occasion and Tekan President Dr. Kalib Ahima described Adamawa as a lucky state, having been blessed with a personality of impeccable character who emerged after a open victory. The guest speaker, Most Reverend Benjamin Kwashi, Archbishop of Just Province, Anglican Communion, used the forum to commend Governor Jibrila's leadership qualities and call on him to relocate all drinking outlets within and around worship centers, schools, and residential areas to outskirts of town. The celebrant, Most Reverend Musa Philippus Panti, who appreciated God for the honor, said it is an opportunity to readable efforts towards serving the Lord Jesus Christ and express commitment to reunite the Christendom towards achieving the cause. May I also use this avenue to loudly call on our young people of all religious learnings, leanings, and political persuasions to refuse out, out, outrightly to be co-opted and misused as tools of violence and destruction. There were goodwill messages from Speaker of House of Representatives, Yakubu Dogara, Deputy Governor Martin Babali, the initial president of Khan, and the first vice president of Lutheran World Federation, Paramatai Shaya. Joined by the governors and other personalities, the vice president also paid a courtesy visit on Lamido, forming a Dr. Muhammad Barkino Ali Mustafa in his palace, during which prayers were held for the president, peace, and unity of the state and country in general. Ibrahim Muhammad, 26 News.